When you become a gardener, you're instantly tied to the land. But what happens when you want to step away? I decided to take a two-day camping trip to find out. Despite originally mapping out highway driving, I settled on back roads that meant more time, but less I-95 stress. Never mind that I had to turn around a couple of times to follow the turn right, then left instructions. I figured it out and got a chance to see some part of life in small towns. After a three-hour drive, I met up with my friend Liz at Lake Louisa State Park. She does car camping and is always up for an adventure. Once the camp was set up, we did two days of exploring. and even Sunny Girl got into looking around. We dodged the heat by taking trails with lots of tree cover or just hung out by the water. The garden paid for itself when Liz used some of my veggies to make evening meals. A last night fire was a great ending for two days of rest and relaxation. And then a funny thing happened when I returned home. This short time problem solving away from the garden allowed me to step away from all the goals I had set for myself. And I saw my garden through different eyes. Yes, a few of the plants were wilting when I got back, but problem solving on something different seemed to make me appreciate all the things I had done in the garden and what was growing. I harvested some kohlrabi and looked forward to using it in salads. As usual, I picked beans, but had enough already to prepare these for the freezer. My first round of corn had given me a few small ears as they died off due to the heat. But I had a second round that was shaded and even had squash. And let's not forget the blueberry bush that is thriving despite my attempts at cuttings. After starting with 12, 
I have two good prospects, one of which just sprang up on its own. Even my chili peppers have taken off and seem to be enjoying hanging out with the onions I put with it. I hope to make lots of hot sauce from them. The tomatoes, too, have come to life, helped by the afternoon shade rather than full Florida sun. I have two full beds that so far are looking pretty healthy and putting out fruit. I mention all these things because there really is something to be said for changing your focus, even for a short period of time. Just the act of figuring out directions and navigating a state park for two days made working in the garden feel almost new. It also made me realize I'm a person that likes to try things, and throwing new things into the mix helps to make me better at the usual things that give me pleasure. Getting away to do different problem solving allowed me to realize that the garden doesn't have to be perfect, just produce the food I don't have to buy from the grocery store. And making meals using my veggies during the camping trip proved it is doing just that. See you next time.